Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. You will never guess where I am. Oh, hi Nigel. I am here at Blue Jay Bonsai's place in his backyard, and we're going to make a video together. All right, so this is the uh, the Thuya that I was telling you about, Nigel. Uh, I sent you and Connor photos uh, that I got up from a friend uh, who's not able to take care of it anymore. Just do a quick. It's a beautiful tree, Jay. Okay. It reminds me of the ones at Rattlesnake Point. Yeah, it's... it is, like from the video with you and Dave, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was hoping that I could put this in at least the Kitchener show, yeah. uh, maybe in the Toronto show in the fall or something, and the trees and training. Yeah. Um, so a couple of things. I wanted to get your uh, opinion on the front, Yeah. Um, what I think was the original front and what I'm thinking of as the front, which is, of course, this. The back um, of it, yeah. I was thinking of, it, eventually, this is just a mica pot. Yes. So uh, eventually, if I get a nicer pot for it. I uh, wanted to uh, ask your opinion on planting angles. Yeah. Try out a few things. And then lastly, um, I'm going to get Matt from the KW Club to make me a stand. He nice. said he would, yeah. but I have to get measurements. Okay. And I, and I need your help because I really don't know how to figure out what's the right size. And I brought my stand with me that Matt made so we can try that out and see if it's too big or too small or Perfect. too high or too low. And Love the, it. the color of it maybe too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. Here's a detailed look at the tree. So it looks really old. There's some dead, dead wood on the roots here, or what is, could be a trunk too, I don't, I'm not sure. So it's really an ancient cedar, really fantastic. You can see the roots here. The bark is even like textured, it's really old. It looks like the, uh, the cedars at Rattlesnake Point. It's not that loose, loose kind of scaly bark you see on some of the younger trees. Yeah, so really, really interesting tree. So this is what I was thinking of as the as the as the front, or let's say the new front. Um, when I got the tree, this was not exposed, but I did notice that this was all dead. So I did peel back the bark. I started to carve it a little bit. Um, I'm going to do some uh, lime sulfur next. Uh, so I'm really liking this angle. I like how it is over the rock. Mm -hmm. Although I'd like to have a nicer rock. If only I had a friend who had really nice rocks that were triangular that would fit in there. I, I collected some like that, Jay. <laughs> We can try them all out. <laughs> and I think that maybe this was the original front. I, yeah. I don't know for sure, but I, I feel it might have been just the way this is more of a back branch here. Yeah. Everything's yeah. up. And I mean, it's it's really cool. Yeah. But I can't unsee the deadwood. Now that I've seen right. this deadwood. Yeah, it's a beautiful feature. I'm loving it. Especially after seeing all those dead roots at Rattlesnake <laughs> Point. I'm so inspired by that. It looks so yeah. cool. And you can see how it's rolling over here, the live vein, which is really cool. Right. Very nice. Yeah, I, I agree. I think you want to show that off as the front of the tree. Yeah. So the, now, as I was saying, the, um, this is the mica pot. I'd yep. like to repot it into a nicer pot, you know, next year. Um, but I'd like to kind of think ahead. And I was wondering if a different angle would be more appropriate for this. So yeah. at first I was thinking more like this. See if I could plant it up. So the trunk is more vertical, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And the Something roots like that. go down, cascading roots. So that was my first thought. Yeah. Um, and I know just before we started filming, you mentioned we should try it the other way. Right. So let me get something. Okay. And did you want to explain why you thought it would look better leaning this way? I was going to try it this way because of those trees at Rattlesnake Point that overhang the cliff face. And then you get these cascading branches. And then when they clear the cliff face, they go in the sun and the branches generally kind of shoot straight upwards up into the light. So I just thought it would be maybe a little more dramatic this way. I don't know, but if we try and zoom in, we kind of imagine it. Ooh, I really because like that. So it kind of, it does two things. It highlights the roots a little more, I think, because they're higher. Yeah. And it also makes this cascading branch. Wow. More of a cascade. Um, I think I'll take some photos of it. Okay. Bring it into Photoshop. And play with it. 
and try both use oh, composite that... pot and then you can decide from the photos. Oh, I really like that. Thanks, Nigel. I think that's the safest thing to do because... Yeah, it's a big decision on this Yeah, it tree. is. And it, it's... I mean, the tree looks good at any angle, but maybe there is one angle that it yeah. will really make it pop. Here's the tree at the other angle, and it's awesome here too because this part of the trunk goes absolutely vertical, which is what the cedars do at Rattlesnake Point. When they hit the light, they just shoot up straight. So it, it's also a good view if you imagine the pot here. Now it, if you have a straight surface in the pot, you're either gonna cover up part of the roots or this part of the trunk's gonna be sticking up in air or over top of a rock or something. It might take a little more might be a little more tricky to get it looking just right, but both views are pretty awesome. Jay, I noticed one thing about your yard that even the grass is blue at Blue Jay Bonsai. Hey, that's how we do it here in the nest. Or not. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. A bunny lad. A bunny lad, eh? Hey. Hey. Good boy, Max. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Jay is going to try out the mat. Bebenik stand, and we're going to see how it looks. Looks good. Here's the tree on top. Is that? Wow. So, my initial impression, it's a little bit too short in length, I would guess. Do you think? Well, I honestly don't know, Nigel. That's why I really needed your help on this one. And I think it's... I'm thinking about the height. We kind of want that cliff look, don't we? Ooh. So. That's a good point. Maybe the higher stand, but I don't know. Mm. That is a tough call. Again, what I'll do, I'll take photos of it <laughs> and we'll play with it in Photoshop or GIMP so, and just uh, decide that way. So if the top of this is eight, how tall do you think you might go? I know you said you'd play 10 or like, a foot. Like, that's really tall. Isn't right. It? Wow. I'll I'll just try a different, some different combinations, and we'll uh, and we'll see. One, this is uh, about 19 and a half inches. 19. Yeah. yeah. Now that could change because, you know, I think this pot's too long for it. That's true. This is not definitely not its final pot. No. So it might be the right size stand if we have it go with a smaller pot because it's over potted. The tree looks. Yeah. Way too small for the pot. Now, um, when you do that, do you only take the pot size into account, or do you take the entire the foliage account? Because this tree is coming way out, or is it just like the pot? Um, generally, on a cascade, if you imagine a cliff edge, mm -hmm. all this is wasted out here. That's true. It shouldn't be there, so. And this is also kind of wasted space back here. So you could get away with a smaller pot. The thickness of the pot generally should be the, the height of the pot should be the thickness of the trunk. Right. And this is much more massive. So yeah. In there, in there. And if we get the right rock, we can have the rock going down. So this is actually kind of in space here. I understand. And it's the, pot, over the, pot. the pot could be, if you get the right rock, yeah, the pot could either be like to here or even shorter, so it mm -hmm. overhangs the pot a bit oh, yes, in yes, the yes. air. Gotcha. And it could look quite good. Okay, yeah. So I was measuring out to here, but yeah. we could really be. Could be there, yeah. Here. So uh, that's a. We won't really know until we see the roots in the spring, right? Right. Yeah. But I can try some different variations in Photoshop, and then you can have a look at it. And okay. I mean, these roots, no matter what root system you have here, we can eventually manipulate it to fit yeah. in 
how we want them. That's true. Because these things really grow roots fast. Nice. So there's a lot of possibilities. But yeah, I think at the moment the pot's too big and it's hard to judge the stand because it's got this big pot underneath it. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. So interesting. I'll try some mock-ups and we'll see. Right. Let's Ready? try the larch forest on the stand and see how that looks. So keeping in mind, I do oh. want to change the, you know, okay, the, yeah, yeah. the angle. The angle. Let's just pretend. Okay. So. Well, I would say that size stand to me looks Ooh, very comfortable. I like that. I don't know if this one needs that highest stand. Yeah. I would think if this was Shorter. the bottom of the leg there, cut off here, it would probably be the ideal height. So where? Um, if this was the bottom of your foot here. Oh, wow. You just roughly five, roughly five inches. Yeah, about five inches, eh? But I think the size looks good with that. Um, 19 and a half by five. It doesn't look too big, it doesn't look too small. Five, 13. I mean, 13 you, and you a could half. reduce the length by a little. Yeah, a couple of centimeters, but. Yeah, this one, when I saw it, something about this one, it looked right. Yeah. That one, I think the reason I was hesitant is because somewhere in the back of your mind, you just know it, it didn't look right. Yeah. Even if you don't. That one might look better on the other table I had with a thicker base under it too because mm -hmm. it's a big thick pot and it might have looked better on that base in the right color too. Yeah. This one's kind of the... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think we're on there. So if I didn't have a nice one, I did have... Um, I just wanted to have... I just wanted to have anything. Yeah. So I just had something like this. Okay. Just to try. I'm not saying it's great. Well, let's have a look at that because that might look very interesting too. Nice. I think that color suits it better. Yeah, I like this color. Yeah, that's... I like that. Yeah, I think that looks really nice too. I think with the lower stand, you can get away with a longer table. Oh, okay. It gives it more of a landscape yeah. feel. Yeah, I mean, you know, I just picked this up from, uh, you know, the outlet store as yeah. a... Um, I think it was like a serving table or something. Okay. But I thought if I had to, I could easily cut the edges down, but it's not bad. No, I think the color is good. Like the reddish color of the wood tones with the reddish pot. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. It's acceptable. Like that could go on a show and no one would say, oh, that's the wrong stand <laughs> for it. That's you all know. I wanted for, for this was just the acceptable for yeah. now. Right? Yeah. Maybe not the perfect stand, but it's... Exactly. Just like this is definitely not the perfect pot. Either, right, right. But it'll do for now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Excellent. Nice, nice. Thanks, Nigel. Do uh, you have a favorite side? That one's less. Uh, let's see that. This one's I think that one. I like that one. Yeah. That's, that's just a sticker. Okay. Here we go. That is a cool stand. I like that. All right, so... Don't. Okay, I don't like the fanciness uh, of the stand at all. No. It, the pot is plain and the stand is the wrong uh, it doesn't work that no, one at all no it doesn't no it would work for some tree <laughs> now can we try can we try that uh, portulacaria afra on isabella's pot on it and oh, just it's, see it's, what it looks oh, like even though it's way too even though it's way too big let's just see what the coloring looks like sure Here we go so let's see if this works tonal wise well it the pot kind of blends in with the background doesn't it yeah um, no, I, I think, I think if you have a fancy stand like this, you have to have a plain pot. Yeah. And if you have a plain pot, you have to, the fancier stand might work. I don't know. And I know, once again, this is too big, but let's just... Let's try it, we're, yeah. we're testing. How about a stand on a stand? Okay. How does that look? <laughs> I like that coloring with that pot. Oh. That See how it picks up the, yeah, the these, light these colors lights, in here and does. the banding? Yeah. And it doesn't take away, does it? It's okay. That's actually pretty good. Now, that one's too big, but... Yeah. Too big, but... And too high. Yeah. But if this one... If the legs were cut down... Yeah. And it was about... A third the size at least. I think it would look good. I like the coloring. Well, if I'm feeling brave, I might actually chop this one down. Yeah. I think that coloring works. Do you like it? Or? I actually do. Like you said, I love how this is popping here. Yeah. And then these dark bits... 
are kind of echoed yeah, here. It, and if I chop this down, I would keep this knot. I actually like having so do I. the knot there. It matches the the dark color on the pot. That's like it was designed for it. <laughs> that's exciting to you know you try these things, <laughs> and that's how you learn. You kind of your eye knows what looks good and what doesn't. Well, remember and, I was telling you about um, buying the pots. Yeah. My wife was asking, why do you have so many pots? Yeah. And I said, well, because when you go to uh, repot, I like to be able to hold up three or four different pots and see which one really works. Yeah. It, it's hard to just purely imagine, but it like, is. we're learning here today by just actually trying it. It really helps exactly. concrete your visions. We should take away the stand on the bottom <laughs> and see what it looks like by itself. Because <laughs> What if it doesn't work without maybe. the second stand? <laughs> I think that works even better. I think it really isolates the tree more. It, it, it makes a difference. Oh, yeah. And you have to remember, most shows have the black tablecloths too. Yeah. So, that's true. I think that, yeah, I think that's worth modifying this stand to try and get it to work with this pot. Because these small trees, maybe, I'm wondering if it needs a lower stand or if that height is good, but just smaller. Oh, to, to elevate it because it's so small and yeah. you can't really get up under it to see. It kind of says, look at me. Maybe. I don't know. I'll look into that. Yeah. yeah Black tablecloth. <laughs> Do you want me to hold that? Fine dining. <laughs> That's landscape fabric, Jay. I know it is. <laughs> it's not velvet. That changes the look again, doesn't it? <laughs> but I still like it. I think I think there's something good going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. So this is my uh, Pukian. My big, you know, um, Spooky Fooky Ian. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, I love the sort of Deadwood, Deadwood. vein, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Wow. Now, obviously I've just been letting it grow out to get healthy. Yeah. Definitely needs pruning definitely before a show. But um, definitely has the qualities of a show tree. Yeah, you think I could take that I do. to the show? I do. Definitely. Well, let's see what it looks like on the little table. Yeah, let's try some stands on it and see what's going on. Mm. Ooh, no. no. <laughs> uh, that yeah. looks horrid. <laughs> uh, no, okay. <laughs> can I give up? <laughs> wow, that really, that was uh, shocking how bad that looked. <laughs> I don't think this one is going to be great either. Uh, let's see. Try it. That one's better. That's actually okay. It would pass. Yeah. It's not, it's not the perfect one. I would probably... Pass. Offset it just a little bit mm. like that. So your cascade branch is coming out here. Yeah. And now it looks good. <laughs> actually. <laughs> it actually does. It the the streaks in here match the streaks on the pot. Oh, I didn't even think of that. It actually Okay, how about the the um, deadwood line being reflected? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually looks pretty good. That's not bad. That's acceptable. Yeah, it's acceptable. Once yeah. again, I don't think it's the dream final one, but maybe not. I would show it with that. Yeah. yeah, that's certainly better than no stand at all. That's for yeah. sure. Well, yeah. let's try the other one, other two. Yeah. This is cool trying out stands. <laughs> you know, it's not something you spend enough time on usually. I think. Well, most people don't even have a stand to try out on. <laughs> Just rushing last it's like, minutes. It's nice to have like four stands <laughs> to try out. Ah. I like the last one better. I do. I, I'm just trying to think why this one's not working. It's too long. It's mm -hmm. oh, no. Sorry. Ma maybe <laughs> the oval shaped pot. Yeah. <laughs> maybe the oval shaped pot oh. needs a rectangular base under it. It's maybe too round at the front and it doesn't That's match. I don't know. Something's not right. right. I think the coloring's not the greatest either. But I can improve. I can improve it. And I okay. Don't. Yeah. The <laughs> accent plant. Now that I like. There you go. <laughs> See that 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 justifies the size of the table when you do that. Yeah. It it looks like a complete composition. It does. Even though I don't think it's the right stand for it. <laughs> but it, it looks much better. We should try that on that other stand. Um, try try the accent plant and shifting the oh, pot over. Um, because we knew that one looked better. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. And that way it might. As I say, the size might look perfect with it. And who said size doesn't matter? Exactly. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> uh, is more or is, how's that? Um, let me, the pot's a bit rotated. Oops. Think about there. 
try that. Now it had, would you have, would you really put, I don't know if they're Not the rock, right, no, right, no. just that accessory plant? I think just the accessory. And I know this one doesn't match, but this was going to be one of my That's too much. Yeah, but I was thinking of it. For, yeah, maybe for something else, a yeah, fern, yeah. Yeah. But the little one looks good. Yeah, I, it's, uh, have a look out front, Jay, see what you think. Again, I don't think it's the perfect stand, but it's... It's passable. It's acceptable. Look, I have one more option. Okay. <laughs> that looks nice. I think that's the best one. Uh, I think it looks better than the Cascade Pot. Yeah, I do too. But I don't know if... Um... No, I don't either one of those. If that plant was yeah, in that pot. that's what I was just thinking. Yeah. There you go. That was a perfect solution. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, that gives you some ideas for that yeah, tree. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Thanks, Michael. Let's try it on the stand by Matt there. All right. Here is on the stand by Matt. Or Matt's stand. So, it's the little plant. You know, I kind of like the height with this tree. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Maybe just move it over a bit more. It's not bad that height, is it? You know, once again, it's like when we were looking at the porch of Lacaria. Yeah. When you have the height, it lets you yeah. get up under, right? Because these not are looking, not big trees. Yeah, you're not looking down at the tree, are you? I like it. Yeah. I, I think, like when I had my uh, my Sarissa at the show, I mm. thought it's not going to be noticed at all <laughs> with all these giant trees around it. Right. But when it was on the stand lifted up, yeah. it made it stand out a little more. What about the size? Do you think... I should have a size more appropriate to this tree or should we go with the accessory plant sizing like this? I would go with the accessory plant on the stand but I would go, still go smaller. I think this yeah. is too big. Yeah. But not by a lot. Like I would say, you know, decrease. It's definitely too wide yes. because the pot's fairly yeah. narrow. So I would think, you know, a stand about that length yeah. and decrease the length width by about here. Matt, I hope you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so maybe... What, 15? 15, yeah, by... About by 10. 10. Yeah, 15 by 10. I think that would look at... And how high is this one? It, you may have to reduce the height if it's that a smaller it? table. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think so. This is uh, Tw eight? 20 to the top. Is eight. It? Okay. 8 inches. Yeah, I would probably go down to 6 if it was going to reduce the table. Yeah, maybe because it might look like a tower otherwise. Yeah, I think the smaller the table, it's going to look taller. What about the coloring? That's a tough. If you use that pot, you've got blues and greens in it yeah. and grays. Well, that's a weighing pot. Okay. It's a nice pot. Yeah. Um, but I'm wondering, it wouldn't be flowering though at the time of the show, I don't think. Not the fall show. It's Spring possible. Show. These will flower all year round if they get enough light. Mm. Um, that is a tough call to stand. Definitely. Try this I wonder. Right now, you've got the dark soil. Oh yeah. It would look good with a dark stand, but it, then if you put moss I will, here, I'll put it, moss on it. Just. Is that color too dark? I think. See this. The pot is cool colors. Yeah. And these are all warm colors. You got yellows and reds in the woods. Mm. So I think you need, there's a bit of a, like that's the warmest part of the pot. So there's a bit of a red glaze to it, but not much. Is that an oxide maybe, or just the clay? I think it's probably an oxide. Yeah, it's a tough call. Um, I think definitely a darker stand would look better. Yeah. It'd give you the height all the proportions and everything but it wouldn't be quite so noticeable because right now it's overpowering the tree a bit yeah so i think uh almost a black stand would probably look the best oh how about those that really lack no it would be too shiny like the really lacquered dark almost rosewood with, almost black yeah with this pot i wouldn't go shiny because yeah the pot is dull and you want sort of a matte finish I have one at home. It's matte black? That's matte black and it's got like a groove carved around the top that's got red inlay. Oh, yeah. Like a almost a, a rusty red color. Okay. 
and it would look perfect for this, but only it's a very tidy stand. Oh. It wouldn't look good. Yeah. It's not the right size, but maybe something like that, like a, a matte black stand with a little bit of a red accent mm. or something, <laughs> or green accent or blue or something like that. I don't know. Well, see, uh, I'll ask Matt what woods he has. Yeah. He might have, um, might have a darker wood that might match. Yeah, it's a... Uh, and if that was, um, if it was more of a matte black, because this is gray, right? Yeah. The gray and the black it's, would go better yeah, together. Yeah, sort of a beigey gray. It's, um, because it has a bit of a hint of tan in it. Tan's a word. That's <laughs> what is. I'm looking for, not beigey gray. <laughs> tan. <laughs> yeah. Um. Who knew we'd spend so much time on the Fukian, right? You could, <laughs> you could try, uh, a driftwood stand too. Oh, uh, it would match the trunk color quite closely. I like that idea. Actually. So you could try that, uh, and even if you make it now, you can mm -hmm. leave it out in the sun, and by yeah. fall, it'll have that driftwood color on it. Actually, that's a good point. I, I um, and it might look okay. Yeah, I think I, you know, I might just get actually. Matched. Go ahead. With this rustic kind of pot, it it might suit it even better than a formal stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would. It's worth trying anyway. Mm -hmm. You could even make it yourself. Not Let's just say you were going to change this pot out. Like, I love this pot. Don't get okay. me wrong. It's yeah. my first Wayne pot. Yeah. Like, it means something to me. Getting yeah. this from yeah. Wayne. Like, yeah. someone you know made this. But because of the white flowers, I thought maybe it would look good with one of those white, um, crackly, you know what I'm talking about? The yeah. Off-white. Off-white. Yeah. Uh, crackle glaze with maybe a hint of brown dripping down yeah. it or something. Yeah. Like that rectangular one I have. Yes. At home. Yes. That would be perfect. Something like that. Because this is sort of the same color as the trunk of a ficus. Yeah. It, it would that would look really good. Yeah. I do like this pot too, but is it the ultimate pot for this tree? I think this would look good. You need something with like a pomegranate with the orange flowers would look good. Mm. Something that really has a pop opposites. Of color. Okay. That's good. Um it looks good in this pot. I like the pot too. And the leaves do have a bit of a bluey color to them. Mm -hmm. Like they're not, sort of, maybe it's just the light. But everything know. looks blue here, Nigel. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> everything is blue here, even the grass. <laughs> uh, All right, well, that's interesting. Yes. I learned something for sure. I did too. I, uh, I really, really appreciate you bringing your stand and to help me um, try out all these different options. Well, I appreciate Matt making these stands. Yeah. <laughs> he was so nice to make these for me. Yeah. And I really guy. appreciate them. Awesome. Well, that's interesting. Thanks, Jay. Thank you, Nigel. Here's a look at the Fukian tea on top of some driftwood colored uh, wood here. I, I think it looks really good. It really matches the trunk color. Yeah, I, I think it, I think a rustic kind of stand would suit this tree really nicely. It's not copper, but hey, does the job. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Must be heavy when it's full. It's, yeah, I like to do all the lower ones first. Yeah, and good idea, and lighter, then move up. And then you move up. And then eventually hold it above your head. Eh? <laughs> It sure was nice visiting Jay's place, seeing all his trees in person. It's the first time I've ever been here, so thanks for having me, Jay. It was my pleasure, Nigel. I learned so much, and I had so much fun. Well, it was really fun talking bonsai all day. So that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. I'm Jay from Blue Jay Bonsai. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>